Okay, I'm back, and hopefully what I'm about to do is the correct answer, because there's nothing else I can think of in this room, and so therefore there must not be anything else in this room. So, hopefully I'm right. I don't honestly think there's anything else in here. I think this is just a room with the big key in it. See, I nearly said, you know what? But I didn't! You go away. Well, no, if you're gonna bug me, you're gonna get over here and you're gonna die. It's not here. Go away. Look at this. I didn't notice this here. Probably a joy pendant. Yep, joy pendant. That's what I expected, but oh well. If nothing else, we can sell it, so... And since 20 joy pennants are required to beat the game, you know, I already got more than 20. But that's beside the point. Maybe I'm not going the right way. Hopefully this is right, because I don't know if it is or not. Zelda Dungeon, you need to fix this guide so we can tell what we're doing. Confound it, I'm gonna go back down to the bottom, aren't I? Oh, almost where I wanted. Alright, now if I went the right way, there should be a wizard up in here. Yeah, yeah, I went the right way. Excellent. And if you recall, this is where my car got captured. And I did check, yes, there's a floor master in here. However, there's only one, there's not four. Why did I equip that? I meant to equip the fire arrows. What? I already knew that. I was looking for the whiz robe, you doof. Yeah, of course you would miss by just seconds. Come on. I don't care if you're getting hit in the car. You'll take the pain. You have... Absolutely no health, therefore you cannot die. There. 
Now they kill that stupid thing. The magic would have been nice, but oh well. You know what? There's nothing I can do about it. I do need to kill that bubble right there in a second here. Yes, I just said I needed to kill you. Alright, get over here. Dude, I can't kill you if you don't get over here. Alright, just because I don't trust this, I think I know where he is, but I could be wrong. I'm gonna have my car fly up, not get caught by the floor master, but fly up to where I can see where he is. So I'll know which side is safe to grapple to. Who would have thought my car would actually be useful for something? You jerk! Alright, that is it. There. Yeah, these things are here, I know. They're irritating, but nothing you can do about it. Little jerks. And yeah, I probably could have controlled him back there, but whatever. Ugh, stupid bubble. My car, could you please just cooperate with me once and stop making everybody dizzy? My gosh almighty. Okay, is he not there? Yes, go away. Pause. Pause. Okay, this is a different room I'm thinking of. Okay. There is no floor master in here. There's a room like it that there's a floor master, but it's not this room. That stupid bubble hindered my progress so much. I could have gotten this done a lot quicker if it hadn't been for that thing. The wizard robe was probably what was designed to give you trouble, but the wizard robe didn't even cause that problem. Please latch onto it, Link. Please. Don't go to your... Stupid computer keeps going to the whatever it's called, you know, where it doesn't do anything, but it's still awake. Yeah, see, he's not up here. So I was right, the place where originally there were floor masters, they're not here now. There is one in their area like this, but there's only one, and I believe he's the last one in this temple. Sadly, there are still more in the overworld somewhere, or I won't specify where, but there is still some. And you will be going through them. You can't avoid them. Alright, now see, this is the one with the floor master in it. Fine, we'll use the freaking Deku Leaf. Can I pull them towards me with the hook shot? That would make things a little bit easier. Well, yeah, of course, you, you would have to go off the stage, because, you know, that's, that's a natural thing to do. We'll get back up here so I can latch on you again. I said so I could latch on to you again, not so you could do that again. Alright, my car, I'm gonna have to have you go first. I know he's on the last platform. The floor master, I should say. I know he's on the last platform. But I will fly up and check, so I will be absolutely sure.
Yeah, well, too late. I already got the first tree, so at least I can grapple slightly. Could you please just grapple onto a target for once, Link? Right there. Now there's no more bubbles to get in the way. The only thing that's left in here is the floor master. Stupid bubbles. They're almost as bad. I mean, they're not even hard enemies to kill. They're just annoying. They're not like dark nuts. They don't provide any challenge. They're just there to annoy you. At least dark nuts provide somewhat of a challenge. Yeah, he's up there. You see him over there on the east? Yeah, he's over there. That's where I thought he was. The real trick's going to be keeping Makar from getting caught. I'm going to let Link go up here, maybe. He can't move, so... Keep him way over here, just in case. Can I just grapple straight to this one? That would make things a lot easier. I'm probably meddling in unnecessary affairs, but you know what? Floor masters are evil, so they earned it. I believe that is the last one in the temple. So at least that'll be one less thing to worry about. Oh, look, more bombs. Alright, so what do we have to do in here? I did not mean to hit that. Alright, first part's pretty easy. You, you should expect this puzzle already. This is kind of like whenever you had to use Medley's mirror shield and your mirror shield to reflect the two beams of light into the sun's eyes where you had to have, you know, two people doing the same thing. Same thing here, you have to have two people on the switches. This simply uh, creates a, a shortcut of sorts, I suppose. I'm not really sure what the word is for it. But anyway, you can jump down to the very, very bottom now whenever the wind's not blowing. And you can just slip between the fan blades. There's no way of getting hurt, well, except for fall damage. I actually landed on the fan blade. I'm going to assume you probably have to take my car with you. And whether you do or not, I'd rather have him with me, so I know for sure where he is. I know you can check the map, but I'd rather know for sure where he is by having him in the same room. Why does it always have to be an awkward camera angle? Wait for the fan to die down again. I don't trust it for obvious reasons. Why do you keep going to standby mode? Could you just cooperate? Alright, there we go. Alright, so we're going to want to go to, well, I can't see what I'm doing here, so I can't tell what the door is. There it is. Should have that key, so. There's going to be a few Stealthos in here, a few Wiz robes, and the like. Okay, this would help if I had bombs. Well, that was your own fault, dude.
Yeah, yeah, take take the damage and then let's go. Would you cooperate, please? There. He's dead. Right now I'm going to imagine you're going to have to do a hookshot puzzle in here because that's what it looks like you're going to be doing. I also think there is a uh, treasure chart in here. I believe. I believe there is. Alright, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of bombs. Even though it only shows three, it gives you like five or six for each one, I believe. No, equip the iron boots, you doof. And this is going to reveal, I believe, Boko Blins. Yeah, these guys. Well, if I could have seen what I was doing, that might not have been a problem, huh? There's one. We please actually thank you. Lots of magic. Just in case to make sure I'm not missing anything here. Because I believe, I don't know if you have to get rid of all five of the masks or if there's five Boko Blooms that you need to get rid of. But I think this is probably a good spot to end off the video, so next time on, let's play The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. We're going to continue through here and see if we can't find the boss room. So see you guys then.